Well, I am thankful for Will, Will Vanderveld uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, Will is with Embrace Charity, and he, he does some shift work, and it's like not the best time of the day for him as he needs to get a little rest, a little shut eye here, but he promised to give us a few minutes this morning. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Bruce. We talked, and it was earlier this year, uh, when you had the Watoto Children's Choir and, and Brian Dirksen up uh, in St. Albert. Yes. Uh, but for people who, who forgot, maybe you can just tell us about the umbrella organization that Embrace Charity is and what it is that you do, Will. Yeah, we uh, raise money for three registered children's charities, uh, with Toto being one of them, and also CBM Canada, a clubfoot program in Haiti, and Hope Mission's Brightwood Youth Ranch. Great causes. Oh, yes, yep. Up, up until last week when you sent me some pictures, I had no idea what a skullet was. <laughs> <laughs> and I, should, it explained, I want to explain to everybody what a good-looking guy you are, Will, and you've got kind of like shoulder-length hair, and it's a, you've kind of got like the Samson look going on there. The, uh, I, I'm sure that the hair is your strength. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, so, like, what, what, the second picture I looked at, what happened to your hair? What's the skullet? What's, what's going on there, Will? Well, as a little fundraiser for Embrace Charity, we decided we'd cut uh, my hair into a scallop. And for those who don't know what a scallop is, uh, it's like a mullet. It's actually people who love their mullet so much that when they're balding on top, they keep the mullet and uh, with the bald top. So we purposely uh, shaved a mullet on into my hairdo. It looks a little bit like uh, Ebenezer Scrooge from the Christmas Carol. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the nicer suggestions I've had. <laughs> and, and, and like you mentioned, as if it wasn't quite creepy enough what you've done shaving the top of your head, leaving the sides long, um, you've grown a little mustache too. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's just to complete the look. <laughs> Will, uh, I know it's too late now for it to grow back for Christmas, but how long do you plan to keep this up? Uh, for every $500 we raise, we are, I have to keep it for a day. And at this point, we've raised about 3500 and uh, we'll have to keep it for a week. Oh, man. Wow. Did you uh, discuss this with your wife before you embarked upon this endeavor? Uh, we sure did, but when I brought it up again, she had uh, was hoping I had uh, given up on the idea. <laughs> is, is she loving the look? Uh, it's a bit of a punishment for her. <laughs> you, you look a, a little bit like a tall Danny DeVito, a little bit in the picture there. So, man, oh man, Will. Well, you're a. I mean, you give your all for these charities, obviously. I guess. Wow. It's, it's like almost a cruel thing, but if people want you to keep the style and keep it going, uh, how can they contribute to your charities? If they would like, they can uh, just contact us at info at embracecharity.ca or 780-479-7800 or look through our website and get our contact details that way at uh, www.embracecharity.ca. Okay, so and again, it helps the orphans in Africa, Hope Mission's Brightwood Ranch for uh, disadvantaged children. And CBM Canada, can you tell me just a little bit about what they do, Will? Uh, they are an incredible international organization um, that recently celebrated 10 million cataract surgeries given to mm. blind people. So they're mostly known for their work they do with uh, vision and uh, bringing people's uh, vision back. But we support one of their orthopedic programs in Haiti, uh, a clubfoot program. And uh, for about $100, uh, these kids in Haiti get complete clubfoot uh, treatment and it totally uh, changes their life. All right, so visit embracecharity.ca, and Will, I'm, I'm gonna post this interview we've just done on my blog, and if, is it okay if I post the pictures as well? <laughs> sure. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, I, you know, I just had this thought, because I've heard about Hollywood stars who've had their heads shaved for movie roles, and then it just doesn't quite grow back again. Uh, the same of you, has that terrible horror crossed your mind? If, if I have the same fate as my brother and father, uh, yes, but... <laughs> Uh, so far, I think I'm going to do okay. Yeah, no, no, I, I mean, when it's all there, you've got a great head of hair, so <laughs> I think you'll be fine. Well, good for you. You're a great sport, Will. Thank you for your time this morning. Uh, thank you, Bruce. Sure. Have a great Christmas. You too. Thank you.